Well, Shoreline Church, this is your devotional for Wednesday, April 22nd. And I want to read from Psalm 77. And just a wonderful piece of scripture. Just listen to the heartbeat of the psalmist, the yearning, the longing of the psalmist. And ask yourself, does my heart long like this? And if it does, rejoice. And if it doesn't, begin to pray as you're listening to the psalm that your heart would long for God more. Psalm 77, beginning in verse 1. I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands, and I would not be comforted. I remembered you, God, and I groaned. I meditated, and my spirit grew faint. Do you get the sense that this person is just striving for God and longing for God and hungering for God? Listen to verse 4. You kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak. I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered the songs in the night. My heart meditated and my spirit asked, Will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor again? Has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? Man, the psalmist is hurting and saying, God, where are you? It just, it seems like, God, have you forgotten us? But then in verse 10, we read these words. Then I thought, to this I will appeal. The years when the Most High stretched out his right hand. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles long ago. I will consider all your works and meditate on all your mighty deeds. I see a couple things going on in this psalm that I think will speak to your heart today. One is that the psalmist is just honestly saying, God, it's a hard time. I, I'm, I'm struggling. You know, have your promises failed? Have you forgotten your mercy? Are, are you angry? Do you not want to show us compassion? I mean, the psalmist is saying, with what, whatever the psalmist is going through, we don't know exactly what they're going through, but what they're feeling is, God, where are you? God, I don't, I don't feel your presence. I don't see your hand. The, the world's gotten crazy here. And boy, I think many can feel that right now, especially those who are out of work and don't know what the next week or month or, or six months is going to hold for them. And, and you might be tempted to talk with God and say, God, I'm hurting. I'm struggling. Where are you? If you're tempted to talk to God that way, here's my encouragement. Do it. Psalms like this are in the Bible to show us that it's okay to be honest with God. It's not just okay, it's encouraged. Tell God what you're feeling. If you're hurting right now, if you're lonely, if you feel far from Him, if you're, if you're anxious and worried, tell God. And if you're feeling like God is far from you, say, God, I'm crying out to you right now. Where are you? Be honest with God. He wants to hear from you right from where you really are right now. But then as the psalmist goes on and gets deeper into the psalm, the psalmist says, boy, times are tough right now. But the psalmist, it's almost like the psalmist says, okay, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to remember your faithfulness in the past because I know, God, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the God who did miracles in the past, the God who showed up and delivered us in the past, you're that same God. So I can trust in you right now. I want to encourage you right now to be honest with where you are with God, but also to say to God, and yet, Lord, I'll remember your faithfulness in the past. You know, you can go right back to the cross of Jesus and the price he paid. He was faithful to give his life for you. You can go to those circumstances in your life where you were struggling and hurting and God showed up and carried you through. And so I want to pray with you. I want to pray that you would have the courage to be honest with God and the strength to remember God's goodness in the past. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you that you invite us to come as we are, that we can be completely honest with our fears, our pain, our frustration, our anger, our wondering. At times, God, where are you? It just it seems like, God, that you've loosened your grip on our lives and the world seems to be taking over. Lord, allow us to be honest with where we are. And in the midst of that honesty, Lord, that we would still remember your faithfulness because, God, when we look back and remember all you've done, we know you're still with us and you give us hope for the future. Lord, lead us uh, forward as we walk with you and live for you throughout the rest of this week. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, Pastor Sean's going to share a few words with you about what's happening in the life of Shoreline Church. God bless you and enjoy the rest of your day.
Well, hello, Shoreline. It's Wednesday, April 22nd. And for this week's update, I'm actually out in my garden, one of my favorite places to spend time during the day. And this is my favorite time of year. It's spring and, and everything is growing. If you look around, you see the plants behind me and around me that are growing. Uh, there's just a, a newness. There's a beautiful blue sky today, green grass. And so we just see this beautiful growth that's taking place. And so my question for us today, Shoreline, is, is how are you growing? And, and I know that for many of you in this season, it's an extremely difficult season. And, and we pray, especially during this season, that you are finding ways to grow, whether it's growing relationally with your family or growing relationally with your friends, or, or maybe you're growing physically. Maybe you find some time throughout the day to get out and get a walk or find ways to exercise regularly and eat healthy. But most importantly, my question for you is, how are you growing spiritually? And so we want to just provide you this week, really just a reminder of all the wonderful resources that we have available on the Shoreline website. Specifically, if you look at our website, you'll see there's ways for you to grow in Bible engagement, which is one of our markers of spiritual maturity. Your love for the pa and passion for the Word of God and how do you apply it into your life. So you'll see there's there's ways to connect in Bible studies. There's ways for you to, to connect daily with some daily Bible readings that we provided for you on the website. Also, how are you growing in your prayer life? How are you growing in passionate prayer, which is another marker of spiritual maturity? And we've got some specific prayer direction we provide for you in our emails each week, as well as on our website, you'll see prayer direction that you can take as we continue in this series that we're in called Standing Strong, a study of the book of Daniel. And so also, I just want to encourage you to think about uh, as you're growing spiritually, you need to know where you're at currently. And so one of the things that I want to invite you this week to really consider taking is our spiritual growth self-assessment. And if you look on our website, you will see right there on the website that the spiritual growth self-assessment is an assessment that you take yourself and it will only take you about 15 to 20 minutes and it will give you an idea of where you are at in your spiritual growth. It gives you an idea of within the different spiritual markers of maturity the shoreline has established, it'll give you an idea of where you're at today, and it'll give you a pathway or give you some ideas of ways that you can grow in each one of those markers of spiritual maturity. So I want to invite you today, if you haven't yet taken that spiritual growth self-assessment, would you please consider doing that sometime this week? Well, Shoreline, that's it for this week's update. Again, I want to remind you to stay healthy, stay strong, and stay connected. Shoreline, God bless you. Have a great week.